This might go down as one of Bunky's favorite days of all time. Yeah, it is definitely up there so far. I would say this is Derby Day. <laughs> it may not actually be Derby Day, but we are going to Churchill Downs and this guy is the happiest. Yeah, I'm like literally lost for words right now. Bunky loves the Kentucky Derby. It's like so special to him. So like this is going to be epic for you. Yeah. So, Bunky and I were talking about what we should wear today because we are going to Churchill Downs, you know, like, it's a very fancy place. And, you know, we don't have our entire closet with us. We only have a few things. But I kept asking Bunky, like, what should I wear? And he's like, you know, this is more fancy, like, definitely a dress. I was like, okay. This morning, I was like, Bunky, I just really don't feel comfortable. I'm like... I'm like, just to wear like a nice dresses. He's like, yes, absolutely. You don't want to show up just like in leggings, you know? And I'm like, okay. We just pulled in. I look like a clown, okay? Everyone is in shorts and a t-shirt and tennis shoes. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're comfortable over here in your little look, polo and khakis. The, the only thing that I'll say is that um, you'll appreciate you know 10 years 20 years from now when you look back at this picture and you're like oh i looked i looked kind of cute there at churchill downs that day there ain't no kind of about it i look I cute i mean i meant to say you look <laughs> extremely cute but the good thing is is that i didn't uh you asked me about that one dress and i was like i don't know i think that's gonna be too much like you don't want to be trying too hard so thank goodness you're not wearing that one. Initial reaction to seeing Churchill Downs. This is one of the greatest venues that I think I've ever approached. Ooh! It's almost like walking up to uh, Cameron Indoor Stadium. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's up there like that, you know. It's pretty substantial. What's the word? It's pretty... Big? Big. Magnificent, grand, the beautiful. Gra the grandeur. The, the grandeur. grandeur. We're walking through the same places that so many celebrities oh, and right. historical yeah. figures have passed. Yeah. Alright, well I would like to welcome everybody out here to Churchill Downs, home of the Kentucky Derby. Churchill Downs, he completely changed the game by establishing nearly all the traditions that we hold here today. Such as those big fancy hats, and even the garland of roses, and those delicious mint juleps. Since Colonel Matt Wynn came on the scene in 1902, no Kentucky Derby has had less than 10,000 people in attendance. First of all, I did not feel silly in my dress. I felt really comfortable, but they played this um, movie after our tour, and the movie just kind of like walked through the life of Kentucky Derby, like from whenever the horse is born until it races, and kind of what their day in and day out looks like, and it was so special to see that movie. I had like cold chills the entire time. It was really neat, and the museum kind of tells you the history. You can walk through it, see like the different outfits, and trophies and all that kind of stuff. It was really, really cool.
Okay, so we just got to the Jim Beam Distillery. It's beautiful. So cool. So this cool. This is quite, quite the uh, campus they got going on It here. is, and this is their kitchen. It's called the kitchen table. It's so good. We had lunch there. Yeah. Oh, he got pizza. I got fries and Brussels sprouts. So good. And now, oh, is that the one? Uh, yeah, the American Outpost. Yeah, so now we'll just go right over here. Check out this herb garden. Wow, fresh herbs. I just love how all the buildings look so like farm. It's like what you think of Kentucky, you know? Yeah. So it's awesome. pretty. This is so awesome. I mean, can't you just see yourself sitting on that front porch over there? I sure can. Just relaxing. Yes. And what's really awesome about all this too is like you got hilltops over here. And if you look out that way, well, you can see them over here. There's just more, it's like we're in a valley or something. Big bourbon. So in here, I'm gonna talk about how we make bourbon. I'll talk about what goes into making our bourbon. And of course, I'm gonna talk about what makes bourbon a bourbon. Perfect. That's just enough to get the bugs out. <laughs> I don't know. You know, tequila, they have worms in there. Protein and vegetables. <laughs> Okay, so we just got back to our campsite. We had so much fun today. It was the best day. I wanted to show y'all a little bit of this campground, like show you our campsite because we could not find a lot of campgrounds in the Louisville area. So if you're needing a campground for just like a couple of days or somewhere to stop in overnight, we have really liked the Louisville South KOA. This is our campsite and something that we have noticed is a lot of them are pretty uneven. So like we had to have the yellow blocks and we've seen lots of other RVers put those in as well but we were lucky because we had lots of big trees so it helped to kind of shade our RV so the ACs did not have to work quite as much this has been pretty hot and then we have this really nice new um, picnic table and just the entire property we feel like is really well kept I'll have to walk down here and show you but they have like a really nice community fire pit there's a pool here they have all the cute little lights there's a little dog park I'm gonna sit on my tippy toes and try and talk to y'all because I don't have anywhere else to sit you. But we are actually packing up right now and about to head to Lexington. Actually right outside of Lexington, but we have had the best time in Louisville. We're gonna have to like recap because we were only here for a couple of days. So we try to get in as much as possible. Bunky was saying that he wished we could stay here one more day so that we could go to the Louisville um, Slugger Museum. So anyway, we will definitely have to come back. We've had so much fun. But y'all, I'm a little nervous about our travel day. We actually only have to go about like 90 miles. So it's a shorter travel day. But we were like Google mapping our like campground location. Y'all have to tell me if you do this too. Just to kind of see like how to get in there best and all of that. And there is this bridge that is so short. And I called and I'm like, hey, I know this is a crazy question. She's like, is it about the bridge? I was like, yes. And she's like, everyone calls. She was like, in 13 years, we've never not had someone fit underneath it. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take her word for it. But I'm still so nervous that we're not gonna fit because it is short. So anyway, I'm a little nervous about that. And then the road that we've been taking, it's like the interstate to get in to downtown Louisville. It is a rough, rough interstate. Like just driving down it in the truck without the camper is terrible. So we like basically can't avoid it, but we're only on it for like 15 minutes. So we are going to have to do that first thing. So I'm a little nervous about that too. But anyway, we are packing up. Monkey's on the roof if you can hear him. He's sweeping off all the acorns. <laughs> but we are headed to Lexington next. Daisy May, we're almost there. We have one and a half miles to go. 
about one mile till we go underneath this bridge and nervous about. But we gotta tell y'all, we're obsessed with Kentucky. <laughs> obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> I love the... <laughs> I just really love the grass around here. The bluegrass. The Kentucky 31. <laughs> <laughs> sign for our destination. There's a sign that says Whispering Hills. And here's our bridge. Oh, Lordy. It says road closed again. This is much taller. Did that truck come with us or no? Uh. No. But this bridge is much taller than what I thought. See, I told you. I, I told you that the Google Maps fish eye view. Okay, it is, it is much taller than I thought. Again, if I'm not mistaken, that's, okay. that's I-75. We uh, made it, guys. We made it. Yeah. In 0.4 miles, you're going to turn right on the Sunset Circle Path. <gasps> Sunset Circle! The chase, man. The oh, chase. I'm so excited. Look at this entrance. Oh, wow. It says road closed, but we turn before the road's closed. Yeah. Can you imagine trying to get another RV past another RV right now? No, and look at the trees. They're hanging. You remember when we were driving um, like into Georgia? Like our first Harvest Hose stop, yeah. there was that dirt road that we rode down. Yeah. That's exactly what that just reminded me of. Are you sure that we're yeah, going to make it? Yeah, we're going to make it. Road closed 500 feet. We're running out of real estate. We're going to make it. Look at how much fun Daisy's having. Wow. And y'all, it's 82 degrees today. It feels amazing. We made it. This looks like the cutest RV park, Monkey. 11 minutes early. Wow. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. Okay. So we still never told y'all about our setup once we got to Grand Rivers. And it actually happened again in Louisville. And now we're in Lexington and it's happened again. So at this point, I feel like we need to like it happened in Anchor Down too. And Anchor Down. So, so every, every single time we've set up on this trip, this is happening. So basically what's happening is, well, first of all, when we bought this camper, this back jack, I think we told you guys, was completely like, how do you say, malfunctioned? Yeah, it was just air, airing out. So like they had to replace working. the entire thing. Yeah. I think when they did that, they never recalibrated our auto leveling system. Mm -hmm. That's my suspicion. That's all we can think of because every single campsite that we have been at, basically once we hit auto level, this back right tire comes off the ground completely. And actually today, that one and the back left tire, yep. both completely off the ground. I, I think we're, um, so with a fifth wheel, because as I'm kind of looking over here at our friends who just set up, right? Uh -huh. If your sight is sloping forward, like your front end is going downhill, then your front legs can like almost entirely account for the adjustment that's necessary. Yeah. When you're on a rear, right, rearward facing slope, if that's the right way to say it. Which is what we are right now. I feel like you can't adjust but so much for how much your back end is going to have to come up. Right. Like to be level across. So you like, it's like you have to put some leveling blocks under your tires to bring you up. So it could be a combination of things. We're trying to figure it out. <laughs> if this has happened to y'all, please let us know what you did, how you handled it. Um, basically every single time this happens, we have already detached and now we have to retach again. And it's become just this huge ordeal. Which kind of takes the joy out of like getting somewhere because right well, now we are so happy to be here. I know. But like, goodness gracious. 
it's really frustrating so anyway that is the deal we're figuring it out we're gonna put our blocks down and hopefully that will help the situation okay so we finally got set up we'll talk to y'all more about that later but funky just made us an early dinner because we have an eight all day and this chicken is incredible it's like one of my favorites he's ever made we did the um holy gospel barbecue dry rub from meat church y'all this has so much flavor it is insane so we basically just do like a dry rub of that and then i'm gonna dip mine in some of the kinder's kelly gold it's amazing mm. and then one of our very favorite camping <laughs> side meals is the stouffer's mac and cheese it is so good so we're gonna have that along with our chicken y'all excitement level 1000 yeah this is like really neat um we're in frankfurt the state capital of kentucky we're gonna go find a nice little place to have some lunch yep i love once again like how when we were in paducah all of these buildings just are they have such nice architecture um i don't really know a lot about architecture but like how the top, the tops of them are like they look like columns and they're just decorative beautiful you know, you know what i mean and then apparently which i didn't know there's like some i guess there's a river that runs through here it must be I mean, we got railroad tracks like what more can you ask for it's so cool okay we love our campground we'll show you more of that and like tell you what we're saying all the things but we love it and then the drive to get here was like scenic back roads now let me tell you kentucky has some of the most narrow roads i've ever seen in my life <laughs> i was holding my breath through some of those curves but it is the most gorgeous place i've ever seen like i was almost in tears driving here all of the rolling hills the barns the farmland the horses the cows it is breathtaking it is magical it is stunning the whole entire time i'm just like I can't get over how beautiful Kentucky is when I tell y'all that it holds like such a special place in my heart and I cannot believe this is the first time I've ever been here. I never want to leave. I love Kentucky so much. All right, so when we were in Nashville, we were on Broadway. When we were in Grand Rivers, I think there was a Broadway. Paducah, there was a Broadway. Now we are in Frankfort, Kentucky on Broadway. Oh, and when we were in Louisville, we were on Broadway. We have had a Broadway every single stop. So fun. And y'all, the best thing ever just happened to us. <laughs> there were these two gentlemen standing across the street and Bunky and I were like, they look like nice guys and probably know somewhere good to eat. So you walk across the street and we're like, hey, do y'all live here? Can you tell us where to get lunch? Both of them own a restaurant here in downtown within walking distance they were the nicest guys both of them use like fresh ingredients it's like good really good food you know and they were like go to my restaurant for lunch and go to his for dinner and so we're like okay so we got the best recommendations and we're gonna have the best little italian lunch we have arrived at our destination Serafini. Ooh. Oh, so good out here. It really does. We have we could not have gotten better weather. You know, last night I was almost actually cold outside for the first time in probably five months. I felt a sweatshirt chilly. last night. I was so chilly. Y'all look at how cute this little downtown area is. Oh, this is the Brick Street. Yeah. Okay, so this, this place. Is, this is the Red Brick Road. This is called Serafini. Uh huh. Delicious. It was so yummy. Bunky well, got the half sandwich, half soup. Mm hmm. Had a little chicken salad sandwich, a little uh, French onion soup. I got the chicken parm. Delicious. I ate half of the chicken parm. 
<laughs> it was so all, good. All three things that I had were fantastic. Okay, but Even yes. Even the water was delicious. It was. But guess what? Guess what? The coolest thing. So, you know, we randomly happened to be directed here by the owner of the restaurant, which we later learned, right? Yeah. And then, as I'm sitting at the table there, I'm like, because one of the things that I wanted to see was the old Kentucky State Capitol. What do you know is right over there? The state capitol. I mean, we're literally eating lunch, looking out the window of the restaurant, and I look over here and I'm like, that's the old state capitol of Kentucky. Here it is. We're going to go see it. We are at Rebecca Ruth Candies. I have a bunkie that is so ecstatic right now, you don't even know. I mean, we just had delicious lunch and now I'm about to get what are probably some of the most famous delicious chocolates in the world. Bunkie said this is historic, historic. For their, um, I've never had one before. They're called bourbon balls Ooh. and I am looking for all right. Amongst Rebecca Ruth. I mean, who doesn't want to sit on that bench right there? I know you do. <laughs> Let's go in. Look at this door. Look at the door. Look at the detail. We saw the Daniel Boone Inn. I said Daniel Boone Inn. <laughs> the Daniel Boone Inn is in Boone. That's right. We saw the Which Daniel is where Boone. Daniel Boone, I believe, hails from. But moved to Kentucky. But moved to Kentucky. When he was what, 23? 33. 33. Yep. That was really cool. So you drive into Franklin Cemetery and then you go all the way up and his monument is over here at the very top. And you can look out over the entire town of frankfurt or city i should say right yes. and so, yeah we were oh sorry <laughs> no go ahead so earlier when we were having lunch we were looking at the old state capitol building that over there is actually the new state capitol building which it looks like they're currently doing a little bit of a renovation or restoration work on the on the tower portion there. But it makes much more sense that that's the capital because it's yeah. massive. A little bit more substantial. The building that we saw was so small. <laughs> so. The building that we saw was like their old one and now I think mm -hmm. it's used for just like offices and yeah. stuff, but. Administrative purposes. Yeah, this has been really cool to see like yeah. everything from up here. This is, this is really, really awesome. Love this area. Loving it. Loving and that it. is the Kentucky River. Yeah, there's a Kentucky River down there too. It's just pretty, and pretty impressive. And we hear just trains rolling, I mean. 